Okay, Red Trender. So last time, I taught you how to create an online survey using Microsoft Office 365. Okay, Red Trender. So last time, I taught you how to create an online survey using Microsoft Office 365. So today, I'm going to teach you how to create an online quiz. So first, you need to go to forms.office.com on your browser and click sign in. Then you need to type your email or your username. Okay, then click next. Type your password. sign in so again this is how you, the user interface of force.office.com looks like so in here you will see if you have already created some quizzes or survey or forms you will see them here you just browse and then if you want to create new you either click new form or new quiz if you're going to create an online survey you click new form and in this case our lesson for today is we're going to create a new quiz which you can use uh, for your online lessons to your students especially now the new normal is that most of the lessons will, deliv will be delivered online so you click new quiz to create a new quiz and you will be directed to this page okay? so first on the top part of the form you can edit the untitled quiz okay? you can put the title of your quiz so in this case let's say for example um, quiz 1.1 1 .1, okay? dash the, 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 the name of the subject in my case media and info literacy okay so you can add a lo the logo of the school and you can add a description so under description you can add the instruction for your quiz okay so let's say for example uh, choose the correct answer Since I'm going to me do a mix type of quiz, an identification and um, some sort of um, choices, so I'm also going to put type the correct answer. Okay. So let's try putting the logo. So click insert image. Then in here you can search online. For example, um, depth ed logo click search then you can click the logo that you want or you have searched using the browser okay then just click add so click the logo and click add okay so the logo will appear on your quiz okay so there's the logo then uh, if you want to use the logo of your school you do this, this process again just delete the logo that was added the image insert image we can upload a logo okay, you can also get a logo using your onedrive okay, so click upload if you have the logo on your computer okay, and then you search for the logo on where did you put it or save it so let's see it's in here okay, so in this case i'm going to use the logo of my school click that and click open and the logo will appear here after it has been uploaded so just let's wait for a while my internet's a little bit slow so there's the logo of my school then if you're going to add questions you just click simply click add new okay under add new you have four choices same with um, in creating an online survey you have choice if you're going to do uh, some sort of a multiple choice 
question, text if you're going to do an identification or essay, rating, and the date. So let's add some questions. So the first question, let's try adding a choice type of question. So you click choice, then you can type your question. Okay? In this part, in adding a question, you can add the choices under option. You can also delete the question if you um, want to delete it or if you want to copy it, click the copy button. Okay? And also you can insert an image to accompany the question. So let's say for example, um, instead of typing, I'm just going to copy the question here on my email. Okay, so let's wait for it to load. And I'm a bit lazy, so I'm just going to copy. So question number one, control C, go to your quiz, control V to paste it. Then you add uh, answer for the option. So for option one, let's say for example, um, barangay tan. For the next option, let's put the correct answer. Once done adding the options, okay, to specify what is the correct answer so that it will autocorrect itself, you click on the right side the check mark, okay, for the correct answer. You can either delete the option if you want, okay, and you can display a message to respondents to select the answer key. Okay? So if ever they click, they click this answer, there will be a message that would appear on the screen. Okay? So let's finish. Let's add. Oh, by the way, you can add points. How many points each question will have. For Let's say, for example, you want to put two points here. And you need to click required so that the student will not skip the question. If you don't click required, uh, there will be an option that they don't need to answer that question if we don't want to. So let's click required okay, and add new. Okay, this time let's try adding a text type question. So let's copy. Let's it here. Okay. And then make sure you click required and you add the correct answer. Okay, so let's say the answer is that too. Add, add another question. Add new. Let's click choice again. Get the question. He is known as the father of Filipino comics. Okay. And you paste it there. Add option to add another option. Tony Velasquez and um, Mars Rabelo. Again, don't forget to click or tick the check mark to, to specify the correct answer. Add another. Let's try text again for identification. So the Constitution. So C space K. Okay, then click Add Answer. Father of Philippine Cinema. Is it there? Jose Nepomo. Send. Tony Velasquez. And then Larry Alcala. And then Mars Rabelo. Again, click the 
check mark to specify the correct answer and let's change the points let's turn it into two points okay, okay so that's just add five questions for now so if you want to shuffle the questions that you have entered to your form you just simply click the up or move question up or the move question down so let's say for example the question number five you want to put it uh or make it as the first question just click move question up here here it is then click 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 and there it is it's already in question number one or item number one if you want to move for example let, let's move question number three and make it as question number five you click move question down there it is so for example if you want to add an image to this question you click insert media okay. then you click image now this time in this case let's just search for the picture image search let's type and click search so we'll see options here so let's try this one click add and just let's wait okay there it is okay for this question uh, let's try to add image for this one also click Search. Um, no result. Um, uh, I think my answer is wrong. Uh, no. Um, there's no picture, so let's skip that one. Okay. So let's say, for example, you're you're already done. So we have question one to five here. If you want to add more, just simply click Add New again. Okay. Um, if you want to preview your quiz on, so that you would know how it, it will appear on the device of your student, you click preview. Okay. So under preview here, you have two options. You have uh, the preview of how, how it will look like on the browser, on a computer, on a desktop or a laptop, or how it will look like on the mobile device. In this case, the by default, you will see the computer preview. So here is what will it look like you're using a computer or you're the laptop okay if you're the students using their smartphone or their mobile phone let's click mobile this is how the quiz will look like on their mobile phone okay so if they already click the link it will uh, go here then they can already answer the quiz okay? let's go back uh, so just uh, one more thing if you want to add a record of the name of the student let's add okay a part where they can type their name so let's click add text okay. type name so that the student can type their name and so also so that you would have a record of the name of the student and then click required and then let's click add new again text you can add you want to record their section for their grade level make sure you click required don't put points because these are just um, tabs for the information and if you want to keep a record of the date on when did they answer the question click add new when you add date By the way, you can also use date. If your question requires date, uh, you can use this option. Okay. For example, um, let's add another question wherein the answer will be a date. So click add new. Click date. Okay. Um, what is Two points. Okay. So, 
have it. If you're going to preview it, click here. They're going to answer it. You just click this one. Then they, you just click the birthday or the date that is required on your question. Okay, so let's go back. Let's move it down so that they will so they won't be confused. Move question down. Click. You're already done, so congratulations. If you want to add a design for your quiz so that the student um, will have fun trying to answer the question or will be more engaged in answering the question, you can add a theme. Okay, you click theme. Here we have templates, so you can just choose the templates or you can add your own backdrop or background for your theme. So let's say, for example, we just use the templates here. Okay, I want to use this one. Automatically, it will be placed on the background of your quiz. Now, if you want to send the quiz to your student, you just simply click share. Okay? Under share, make sure you tick anyone with the link can respond. Because if you're going to choose only people in my organization can respond, um, most of your student will not be able to answer because not all of the student has an Office 365 account, okay? For to, as of now, um, only teachers of DepEd were given a free account of Microsoft Office 365. So in this time, let's try, uh, let's choose anyone with the link and respond, okay? And then you can copy the link, okay? And you can just send it to your student through email or through Messenger, Facebook Messenger, especially now that student, most of the students are using this Facebook Messenger. You can just simply copy the link and send it to their Messenger. Okay? You can, they can simply copy the link and paste it on the browser. Once they click the link, it, they will be directed to the quiz itself. Okay? And they will see your quiz. So this time, they, can, they will be able to answer the quiz. So let's say, for example, I'm going to answer this one. Um, electronics B grade 12. Okay. Day to day is May 7, 2020. It is answer. Father of Philippines Cinema Movies. 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 Uh, makes the correct answers Tony Velasquez but this case we'll click the wrong answer so that we will find out what will happen okay. the computer or the system of office forms will be able to detect the, the wrong answer okay and the correct answer okay. the constitution that states media should remain free and protected 19 Then we'll click submit so that their answer or request will be sent to you. Okay. So once they click submit, okay, you can click view result so that they would know already how many points did they get. Okay. Here you got nine over thirteen. So see, the computer will be able to detect the correct answer and auto compute the quiz for you. So you no longer need to check the quiz the computer itself or the form itself will check the quiz for you okay and the student will be able to check if how many correct answer did they get okay so let's go back okay if you notice the 
the link is too long, you can shorten that. You can use third party um, website where they will be able to shorten the link. So what how do you do that? You copy the link, okay? Then go to the website where you will be able to shorten the the link. In this case I'm using Bitly. Then once you're already signed in with Bitly, click create. Okay, then you paste the long URL here and click create again. Okay, and you can add the title to save the, the link. For, for example, my title is quiz 1.1. Okay, and then you can change the back half of the link that will be generated. So let's see so that the student will know what quiz is that. Okay, so bit.list slash quiz. 1.1 underscore mil media and information literacy then you click save okay then you click copy okay so once you copy that the link that you will give to the student is this one bit.ly quiz 1.1 underscore mil okay so the link is already shortened okay so let's place it here. Let's try it. Okay. So there you have it. The link is already shortened. Okay. Also you can use QR code. Okay. You download the QR code, print it on your paper, and then you can paste it on the wall and then the student can scan the QR code and they will be directed to the page of the quiz that you already that you are giving them. Okay, so that's that's how simple it is to create a quiz using Office 365 form. Okay, um, to check the responses when you're you are signing in, you just click the next tab responses here. Okay, so let's refresh. So I already answered one a while ago. So you see, since I answered one, okay, there's already one response. Okay? In here, you will be able to see. The result of the quiz okay so you will see how many responded how many click each option on your question okay and you will see which uh, most correct answer did they get okay so you already have a toss for your quiz okay so you can either view the result here online or you can open it in Excel so we click open in Excel we'll no longer do that the data of your quiz will be saved in Excel format okay so that's it thank you for watching I hope you learned something today